Hello everyone, welcome. So this is a new tutorial and in this lesson we will see how we can use only one node which is the particle alpha node and how we can use it to generate multiple or random colors. Before we get started, I must mention that we have the three methods for this at, uh, for this achievement and uh, I will explain the three methods. So let's get started by opening a new file. I have started a new file and I will make here an a cube or let's make an icosphere right and I will make another icosphere maybe UV sphere and this one I will make it to be segment of 16 maybe and ring of 10 and let's let us move outside the viewport add a camera here and control alt zero we can center and zoom let's add materials so this one will be metallic and the viewport or the environment will be completely black pure black and i will name this one to be particles And you must be in cycles, so I will switch to cycles, GPU, and viewport maybe maximum symbols of twenty five or forty. We will not render, but I will make maximum render of two two hundred. can use the noise and after that let's switch to the vertical and go to if you switch here to the render you will see nothing so let's add some material before we add material I will click here and add vertical and it will be a meter maybe 500 and in the physics tab I will check voids and in the rendered tab i will check object to be this particles i will increase the scale and after that we have to check lifetime to be 100 i'll make it 120 and let us make it here timeline and if we hit can see uh, that the width is too much so uh, let's decrease that to be 0.1 that's fine perfect i'll check the vertical and go to shader add a new node and it will be a mission and after that the first method is to use wave lens in series we will add vertical info vertical info node so uh, the magic happens here we have the vertical info and it has a few nodes and we will use uh, them one by one and the first is the index so let's switch it to the color and to the color you can increase the strength of course as you would like and uh, let us make mass here index from 1 to 500 and we will add uh, 1 to 30 300 and that's it so if we click here we are in cycles make sure on in cycles and you are in render mode and let's play as you can see the color increase by index so as you can see the wavelength if you check the documents the wavelength is range from Take colors from uh, 300 and 80 to 750 I think or 720 so uh, we increase from 0 to 500 to this value and the, the result is you can change this value to get values immediately and if you increase this to 400 you will get values immediately 
so we'll get value from the beginning as we will uh, you will get the wavelength values so this is the first node and the second node here is random so random is uh, is values from 0 to 1 so we can use the mass multiply so i will multiply here i will uh, multiply to 300 and 80 and add to maybe 300 again multiply by 300 and this is random so let's check all right i think we can add here the random and that's right this is the random color not based on count or not based on the time so this is random this is the second node second achievement let's go back and I will name it random two, and uh, we will use the age and the lifetime. So age based on the lifetime. So age is factor of lifetime as a lifetime. Maybe uh, if we say that lifetime is two hundred, so age is range from zero to two hundred. So we will use mass also again and use divide and divide age to lifetime. We dividing. Two values to get values from zero to one and it will work as the same as the beginning but we will it will be based on time here it will be based on time not random Z values from zero to one but it will be based on time that's fine so let's check we can use this method to make random three and we will use the color ramp not the wavelength i will plug the value to divide or color ramp and use the color black will be red and i'll change white to maybe a green or something such as this and you can use it to be blue and that's it so uh, from zero which is red to one which is green let's see what we will get now red i think it will go based on the time that's it it will be based on the time so each particle in the beginning it will be green uh, or red and uh, at the end of its lifetime it will be green as you can see it starts from red and it will be changed to green this is very amazing and here we can use the location it's very simple And finally here we have the color based on the location the color on the left is red and the color on the right is uh, the green or blue that's based on the location as you can see here I'm uh, using separate XYZ to change the color and uh, you can change this value to be minus 0.8 or 0.7 and it will change it will be based on the location as you can see and you plug it finally to the color as you can see you can change your, your color as you like and you can use any palette and uh, as, as you can see we have used 
the index random age lifetime and location and we can use of course the size uh, so uh, in the next part we will uh, in the next part of this video we will explain the more uh, uh, the two more options uh, but that's enough for this tutorial we have explained all about the particle and i hope you like this tutorial see you in the next lesson